Hello, I'm Robert Reese, coordinator of television and cinematography for the Health Sciences Centers at Texas Tech University. The subject of this retrospective program is the television studio, which is a part of educational media services. In addition to our annual report, perhaps this videotape is the most effective method of letting you know what type of work and progress has taken place at the television studio in recent times. Some of the programs that I have directed are educational, while others are informational and still others yet instructional. Physicians, faculty, staff, and students from various departments have all utilized the television studio with successful results. Before we show you some of these examples, I'd like to outline for you the common procedure that a television production goes through in order to obtain worthwhile results. Here's the process. The coordinator of television and cinematography schedules and scripts upcoming television productions. Cooperation from various departments from educational media services is essential in the coordination of any television show. The photo lab supplies the necessary slides for the show. An artist from the graphic arts department sometimes furnishes the integral studio cards for the production as needed. Illustrations are provided by medical illustrator Gary Bishop. Slides and artwork are utilized for emphasis and clarity. During various pre-production meetings, both pre-existing and new materials are reviewed by several people. Now the production begins. During a rehearsal, the talent for the show offer comments, ask questions, and receive last-minute instructions from the director. The camera shots are delineated and the microphones are readied for the operations that will follow in the studio. Television control technician Sam Smith makes necessary adjustments on the studio's cameras in order to ensure the highest quality color resolution and fidelity. Hit the lights and recording of the program begins on videotape. The director instructs the camera operator to cue the talent to start speaking. The educational or informative medical television videotapes are produced through the utilization of this versatile switcher. Engineer Bruce Fellers demonstrates other studio capabilities that include the high-speed multiple duplication of audio cassettes or reel-to-reel -reel tapes onto an audio cassette. In the electronics room, the film chain camera picks up 16mm film, super 8mm film, and slides from two sources. These materials are fed back into the director's switcher and supplement the show's basic content. Programs are videotaped on these master recorders. The sophisticated electronic editing machine produces excellent results in the way of professional videotapes. The television studio is equipped with black and white and color portable remote cameras able to go on location and shoot under adverse low light conditions. The TV control technician and the engineer adjust, repair, and modify the equipment that is necessary to produce effective medical television programs. Now that you've seen how a television program is produced here, let's take a brief look at some highlights from a few programs that were completed in 1977 by the television studio. Dr. Jorge Galindo worked with nurse Fran Board of the Obstetrics and Gynecology Department in order to produce a patient education videotape on the subject of pap smears and colposcopic techniques. This combination documentary and dramatization is available in both Spanish and English versions. Dr. Robert Anderson from the Department of Psychology hosted an informative presentation called The Evolution of a Position. Videotape excerpts from various previous programs reinforced and clarified many important points that the doctor discussed at length. Social work in a healthcare setting was the name of Paul Heinrich's award-winning slide presentation. The departments of social work, physical medicine and rehabilitation, and educational media created this program for the Texas Hospital Association. I provided narration and production assistance for this presentation, which was part of a group exhibit. This project won the William Benson Award for the best educational exhibit at the annual statewide convention held by the Texas Hospital Association in 1977. Alcoholism is a topic that has been dealt with frequently in the television studio. Perhaps the most noteworthy of these programs were those produced by Melanie Mogg. Her Physician's Reference Notebook series continued to offer several new looks at the various aspects of alcoholism. Dean George Tyner, MD, hosted one of the programs. Dr. Abraham Flemenbaum hosted yet another entry. The family members of alcoholics were interviewed, and Dr. Fafi Messia conducted more technical studies. In addition to this series usage as a teaching tool and in live presentations, some episodes have been broadcast to the community by the local ABC affiliate, KMAC TV, Channel 28, here in Lubbock. These well-illustrated presentations 
are public service programs designed for information and prevention of alcoholism and drug abuse, supported in part by a grant from the National Institute of Health through the Career Teacher Award in Alcoholism and Drug Abuse. Because we are all employed by an academic institution, it's very important that our programs reach the students. It is for this reason that the closed circuit broadcasting station, Channel 9, was established in 1975. Many of Channel 9's educational programs are furnished by media librarian Jeannie Thomas. She obtains films and tapes from professional medical distributors as well as other universities. In 1977, the Channel 9 cable and its programs became available for the first time to the new Health Sciences Center's building. Channel 9 is located in the Audiovisual Network Center housed in the new medical building. In the near future, the network will be able to carry four separate channels. This will permit broadcasting of programs tailored to the specific needs of individual departments. The network will also allow two-way telecasting in the early part of 1978. Audio and visual interchange will be available between separate locations in the building. Some of our medical school's programs have been specifically designed for students viewing, such as the Health Sciences Center's report that I initiated and developed. Chris Gilbert hosted this program. This show introduced videotape footage photographed by the television studio's convenient color portable television camera. Acquisition of this mini-cam represents the most significant technical advancement of the studio's capabilities in 1977. Now we can go on location to remote places wherever medical community needs present themselves. Lectures and seminars given by various visiting healthcare specialists have been photographed. CBS affiliate in Lubbock, KLBK-TV, Channel 13, has utilized some of our remote footage on their news broadcasts. These excerpts concern the Tech Medical School's convocation and commencement exercises in 1977. The guest speaker was Governor Dolph Briscoe. Some students have even produced their own television presentations. Again this year, Cassie Murphy, a health communications student, hosted several shows that dealt with handicapped families' methods of coping with their problems. Both social networks and sibling situations were covered in these programs that were produced as class projects. All of our productions are shown on Channel 9 and are available for checkout purposes from the Media Library. These programs can be purchased and are also available for distribution to other universities. In 1975, I initiated and developed a television series known as Medicine Today at Tech. This series is recorded and broadcast every two weeks to the community by KTXT TV, Channel 5 here in Lubbock. Medicine Today at Tech presents physicians, faculty, staff, and important medical community leaders. These health professionals discuss relevant topics of a medical nature on each public service program. Jim Hastings of the HSC News and Publications Office hosts this series which is comprised of informative illustrated interviews. Subjects such as current trends in teaching, ongoing research, and special projects in progress are discussed. More than 80 healthcare professionals have appeared on Medicine Today at Tech during the past two years. Plans for the series expansion are currently underway. In the near future, the series will be made available to many markets, including PBS and commercial network affiliates in and outside of Lubbock. This series will cover events beyond the scope of the Tech Medical School and will serve as a vital medical communicative resource on a regional basis. In closing, we hope that this 1977 review has provided you with an additional insight into the variety of programs that have been produced by the television studio in recent times. It's also our hope that if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or if you'd like to produce a television program yourself, that you'd contact Robert Reese at the television studio in Thompson Hall. Thank you.